In this problem, we want to figure out the distinct types of hydrogens in the molecule and the distinct types of carbon in the molecule. And what you should immediately kind of recognize with this is three of the same group. We have the central carbon, and there's an ethyl group, an ethyl group, and an ethyl group coming off of it. There's no way to differentiate those three ethyl groups. For example, if I were to put a mark on this carbon right here, and then I were to take this molecule, spin it around, turn it over, twist it around, you wouldn't know if this was the one I marked, this was the one I marked, or this was the one I marked. And that's because all three are chemically equivalent. So let's start with the carbons because we have a nice picture of the carbon framework in this molecule. We first have our central carbon atom right here. That is the first type of carbon. I'm going to label that as A. Then connected to that carbon, we have CH2 groups. All three of those are equivalent. You can't distinguish any of those three. So that we would say is carbon type B. And then finally connected to the CH2, we have a CH3 and that is carbon type C. So in this molecule, there are three distinct types of carbons. For the hydrogen, it might be helpful if you draw the hydrogen in. So here's my central carbon that's bonded to a CH2 and a CH3. Same thing here, CH2, CH3. CH2, CH3, and don't forget this central carbon also has a hydrogen on it. All right, this is very similar to the carbons that we identified. So now we have the hydrogen on the central carbon. That's one type, so I'll make that A. Then we have the two hydrogen on the CH2 groups. And at one CH2, those two hydrogen are equivalent but also the two hydrogen on this CH2 and the two hydrogen on this CH2. All of those are indistinguishable. So that's type B. And the same thing with the CH3. All of these CH3s are indistinguishable. That's type C. So this molecule has three types of hydrogen as well.